Hello, my very dear, dear standers. I hope and pray that you are all having a good and blessed day. I believe that it is through the leading of the Holy Spirit that you are here right now, listening and finding encouragement. This channel is dedicated for hurting and struggling marriages. You may be a wife or a husband standing and fighting for your marriage. This channel is for you. I pray that this blesses your soul. Thank you very much for being a blessing to me and my family. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to do so, so we can always be together and share God's word, His blessings, and be a blessing to one another. My dear friends, standing for our marriage is sure very lonely. Most, if not all, standers feel that they are standing alone. This is not only lonely, but this can oftentimes get very scary too. I am very much led to always remind you, just as I remind myself daily, that no matter how lonely and alone you may feel, you are not. 2 Kings chapter 6 verses 16 and 17 And he said, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. My very dear friends, during the times when we know that we have heard from the Lord on a matter, or that God has given us a promise that we are standing on, or when we are endeavoring to carry out His plan as He is directing us to fulfill. We often, often stand alone. We may not find anyone who will stand with us, who will be in agreement, or who will support us. On the contrary, most of the time, it may seem as if there are more standing against us, as if Everyone and everything is in opposition to us. They do not share the same vision. They do not believe that we have heard from God. They are negative concerning the situation. My dear friends, when you share it with them, they don't support you. Instead, they oppose and discourage you. It is during these times when you feel alone the most. It is this time when you sit lonely in the valley. Psalm chapter 118 verse 6 The Lord is with me. What can mere mortals do to me? My dear friends, fear not. There is nothing to fear about or to be scared of because God is with you. He is, my dear friends. He is right there with you, sitting beside you in that very, very lonely valley in that wilderness where things seem to be so quiet, when things seemed as if nothing, nothing is going your way. What can people do to you? Yes, yes, I know this. They may hurt you, but there is nothing that they can do that God cannot heal. They may oppress you, but they can do nothing that God 
gonna bless you with. And my dear, dear friends, we serve a very generous God. He blesses abundantly. Take heart today. Know this. Be confident. You are not alone. Like the servant, Elisha, we cannot see past what we see in the natural. Our eyes only shows us and sees what the world wants us to see. My dear friends, but what we see with our natural eyes is not always a true indication of the way things actually are, of the things of the spiritual realm where the real battle is happening right now. There are more that are with you than you see this very moment. When you have truly heard from God, the host of heaven is standing with you. Fear not, my dear friend. God is right there with you. He will bless you. He will heal you. And He is fighting this battle for you. All you have to do is be still and know that He is God. Romans chapter 8 verse 31 What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? The bottom line is that no matter how much opposition you may encounter, no matter how alone you may feel, no matter what your circumstances are, and no matter what the world is telling you, if God is for you, then you have a majority standing with you. He makes up the majority all by himself. You do not need anyone else. You do not need anything else, my dear friends. If God is standing with you, you are never, never standing alone. So stand firm and stand strong. Dear, dear friends, I hope and pray that truly, truly, this has given you encouragement and has been a blessing to you today. I continue to pray for all of you. God bless you all.